So, team, keep it clean. I know it's late. A lot of us getting ready to go to bed, but I felt like this news was uh, semi-important to share with y'all. Um, but it's very murky news, and it could go one of two ways. Quick, just a quick recap. Of course, we know Lamar has been dealing with his ankle injury. We know Tyler Huntley has been placed on the COVID list, and we know that Chris Strevler, practice squad quarterback. He was also on the COVID list. So in last Sunday's game against the Bengals, our quarterbacks were Josh Johnson and somebody who they signed 24 hours prior to, that being Kenji Bahar. Um, and Josh Johnson, again, uh, for what the situation was, I thought that he did a phenomenal job. Phenomenal job. Um, but now... Uh, and. When it comes to news, I always ask, you want to get the good news or you want to get the bad news first? But I feel like in order to get what could be the good news tomorrow, we got to get through the bad news first. And with the bad news, it says that the Ravens released quarterback Kenji Bahar from the practice squad. So once again, I know Kenji got to be tired of this, man. He like, man, y'all call me and y'all had me, then y'all cut me, then you call me back a couple weeks later, then you had me, then you cut me. What is it going to be? They should just give him like a permanent reserve deal. Something on the side to where they're like, look, Kenji, we, we know we've been calling you back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Y'all remember uh, Billy Bajima, the tight end? It was like the same thing with him. But anyway, um, them releasing Kenji Bahar from the practice squad, that lets us know that a quarterback is on the way back tomorrow. Now, initially, when I first saw that, I was thinking, okay, it's either got to be either Lamar Jackson or Tyler Huntley. Uh, but then after I thought about it for a while, it was like, oh, but wait. It could also be Chris Streveler. Because Chris Streveler is a COVID guy. He, he was on the COVID list and he's on the practice squad. So it's possible. And they cut Kenji Bahar when they signed Chris Streveler. So they obviously felt a certain way about Chris Trevler, and they felt more strongly about him than Kenji Bahar. That's why they cut him and they signed Chris Trevler to take his spot. So this could be that same exact thing, or it could be one of our two quarterbacks coming back, either Lamar, Tyler Huntley with Lamar. I'm not really counting on. I know we saw the Instagram where he was at the facility today on his story and whatnot, and I know that got a lot of people excited. But I'm just, I'm not going to get my hopes up on that. So the good news, we're getting the quarterback back. The other news is we just don't know exactly who it is yet. So tomorrow, we'll see. Um, also, more good news. Chris Westry, he has been activated from the COVID list. So Chris Westry... Uh, the Ravens, Jimmy Smith 2.0, who they want to be Jimmy Smith 2.0. Um, he is back, so that is just lovely because he gives us somebody else in the secondary while Anthony Averett, who's dealing with, what was it, fractured ribs? Whatever he's dealing with, it, it gives us somebody healthy while Anthony Averett deals with that. They said he could play this week. I'm not going to expect him to play this week, but we'll see. Um, also... More good news, they also activated Jimmy Smith and Pernell McPhee from the COVID list. So a, another cornerback, you know, we know Jimmy Smith, we know his history and whatnot. Hey, forget history this season. because I mean, this season has been historic when it's come to injuries, when it's come to guys that's been missing, when it's come to this and that. So Jimmy Smith being back, it's a huge plus. Yeah, Jimmy Smith ain't the Jimmy Smith of old. Yeah, 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 but guess what? This Ravens team needs all the help that they could possibly get. Pernell McPhee finally coming back. Because with Pernell McPhee, this guy, he signed for another year, played for a while, went on injury reserve, got off of injury reserve. Literally, the, when he stepped off of the injury reserve plane, he stepped right off the plane and walked right into, oh, you're on the COVID-19 list. Literally right when he came back from injury reserve. Went straight to the COVID-19 list, but now he is off of that list. So that's a beautiful thing. So that is the good news. Now the bad news. On Sunday against the Bengals, man, it, there weren't many bright spots, <laughs> especially when it comes to the defense, because the defense, they literally did not force a punt the entire game. 
Bengals punter was just chilling the whole day, just relaxing, taking it easy. And those Bengals, they beat us so bad, they got our game against the Rams kicked out of 425. They got it moved up to an earlier time slot. Um, but one of the bright spots on the defense was Tony Jefferson. And Tony Jefferson is somebody, you he just played with this fire. I think he had a sack. He had some nice open field tackles. Open, like, just him and the running back, him and the receiver. In the open field, it was the most beautiful thing. I loved it. And I told you, I felt like him and Patrick Queen, they had probably the best games on defense. But they're not 11 Tony Jeffersons, and they're on 11 Patrick Queen, so it was a rough day still. But they were a bright spot. And Tony Jefferson was such a bright spot that the NFL, Tony Jefferson said it himself, they gave him a random COVID test. And apparently, he said he is vaccinated, but so all he got to do to come off of the COVID list is have 48 hours of negative testing. But regardless, he has been placed on the COVID list. So Tony Jefferson is out for now. Um, I know literally just today, they changed the, the rules, the CDC, they changed some stuff. The NFL, they're like, all right, we're going to change some stuff too because we can't be having this Dolphins and Saints stuff like ha that it happened last night. We can't be having this Ravens and Bengals stuff that happened last week. We can't be having these Browns. And, oh, no, wait a minute. It's Browns this year? Oh, yeah, we're going to change the rules for the Browns. We're going to change flex their game. But anyway, um, so the, 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 the NFL has changed their rules. When it's come to the COVID and the being asymptomatic and all that, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so Tony Jefferson, he's out. But wait, there's more. Our Darius Washington, who broke his foot a couple of weeks back, he ain't even been playing. But you know what? He goes on the COVID list as well. Similar to Justice Hill last week, who has been on injury reserve. He got put on a COVID list last week. So it's like guys that ain't even been playing they getting put on the COVID-19 list. This, oh, this season is just this season. That's all you can say about it. But another guy who has been placed on the COVID-19 list is Tyus Bowser. So Tyus Bowser is out for however long it's going to be. Not sure what his vaccination status is, but with the new rules, um, if he's asymptomatic, for five days, then I believe he'll be able to come back after those five days. I got to get a more clear understanding of what the new rules are as far as it goes for the NFL. Uh, so we'll see what goes down with that. But um, Ravens roster moves still been uh, pretty busy. Pretty busy. Um, so it's, it's the same old stuff, man. Same old stuff. Um, hoping that these Ravens... <laughs> Could pull off what would be considered maybe a miracle. Um, I, I, I uh, when we talked about the game being flexed from 4:25 to uh, 1 p.m., I talked about oh that that kind of favors the Ravens because it makes the uh, the Rams play on an earlier schedule. But there were quite a few people that gave me a nice friendly reminder that the Rams this game in in, in games where they have to play at one o'clock or well, Eastern time uh, that they're undefeated. So, well, well, thanks. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. But again, anything's possible till it ain't possible no more. So Ravens got to come through on Sunday. Rams got to come through on Sunday and may the best team win. Um, Y'all keep your eyes open tomorrow to, to see which quarterback comes back. Again, hoping that it's Lamar Jackson or Tyler Huntley. Again, it could be Chris Tra and we hope Chris Traveler comes back too because we just want all the guys to be nice and healthy. We want them all to be team, keep it clean. Um, but just something to keep your eyes on uh, for tomorrow. So I know y'all going to be on it. Uh, you know we'll be on it uh, whenever it happens. Uh, we'll let y'all know as I know y'all will do the same. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And like one of those three quarterbacks, whether it's Traveler, Lamar, or Tyler Huntley, will be no longer starting tomorrow. I'm out.